We asked ChatGPT to provide us with the literature review of some studies and I'm going to review these results by the end of the video and I would like to give recommendations on the extent to which you can accept the uh, literature review provided by ChatGPT. So before starting, I would like to tell you what a literature review is and what types of literature review are available. So a literature review is simply a review of the previous studies so as to understand the current situation, identify the research problem, research questions, maybe hypotheses, among others. And there are three types of literature review, as you know. We have the narrative literature review, in which we just cite studies and compare them in a chronological or theme-based way. And then we have the systematic literature review. In that case, we have a set of criteria that are inclusion and exclusion criteria uh, to include or exclude some studies. And then we have meta-analysis, in which case we have the analysis of the previous studies or the analysis made by previous studies. So as to keeping this in mind, need to see this is uh, how the literature review is formatted. In brief, we have just the uh, studies and the reference or the citations, the in-text in citation, as you can see, uh, grouped uh, chronologically or alphabetically. And then we have the reference list. So for this reference list, uh, there should be some formatting elements like doing the handing, identification, etc. By just uh, selecting everything, going to uh, format or paragraph and handing indentation etc click ok so these are just uh, technical skills that you should have for reporting the results of the literature review so uh, we're just going to see the tools that we can use to get list of studies and reviews using some artificial intelligence tools that are recent so I the first uh, step that we need to do is to identify uh, the websites from which we can get the studies we have the google scholar website so we can just type the topic of the study or any article and we can cite it from here using different citation styles uh, looking at the, the the studies that cited it uh, looking at the related articles uh, looking at the versions of the article or saving it till later we can even have recent literature review by just uh, specifying the filter on terms of the uh, publication date etc so this is like the first engine that you should be aware of to get the relevant studies for your topic the second one is illicit illicit again is a good uh, website and it has also software in which you can just select whatever elements you want to include and then you can just type the study that you want to have or the research question and it will just filter all the studies from different sources and you can just filter them based on recency among other uh, criteria like filter them based on keywords published after study type etc like systematic review, meta-analysis, longitudinal study, review, randomized controlled tr trial, among others. So illicit is good for medical or scientific research, in terms of medical research, most specifically. But it can be useful for social uh, sciences. Then we can sort by, we can have sort by year, and we can just see the recent articles published in the field. Okay? like the effect of social studies, so the effect of reading on academic vocabulary. Let's just keep a vocabulary and click OK and see the recent studies that have been cited. It's recommended to look at the recent studies just to be at the edge of the studies so as to see what the researchers are discussing and what is trending. So we click sort by year and we are looking at the studies so we have the latest articles published in 2018 so i think the discussion has stopped uh, concerning the role of a reading on vocabulary growth 
So this can be an over-researched topic. We may a little bit change this topic so that we can find some uh, very practical studies that can contribute to the body of knowledge. So we are not just going to spend time investigating things that have been investigated before. So the research that we should be doing should have an impact research impact okay so this is like this tool you can even export the results using the csv format or the bib etc so i can just get it as an excel format for researchers who like to use excel then we have the second website this is called a uh, size space and it's a good website also so you just type the article or the research question uh, and it will just uh, give you all the uh, studies and then you can uh, ask questions and it will give you answers and this is good just to uh, have this conversation with the research uh, papers so as you can see different studies and uh, suppose that I want to study or review this article again we have sort by I want to sort by newest first Again, we are just comparing Elicit with the uh, size space. You see here, size space is uh, adding uh, publication years of 2021, which is good in terms of retrieving the recent articles compared to Elicit. So I just uh, take this one, for instance, and I start asking questions here, like explain the abstract in one line instead of reading everything. So I can just uh, screen the paper from here by asking specific questions, okay, uh, etc. So I will just keep asking all the questions that I need answers to till I finish. Then the uh, website that is famous, that is called ChatGPT, can be used for review, but it sometimes provides false references and false DOI, like digital object identifiers. That's why you should really use uh, some uh, famous, uh, let's say, uh, databases like PubMed, among others, to verify the sources. Sometimes it just makes up the studies. It does not provide accurate studies. Uh, it can provide something that looks like a literature review. Uh, sometimes it can provide some uh, articles that are accurate, but uh, it's really hard to verify the sources. Therefore, uh, ChatGPT can be used just to help you in case you have some general questions, and it can help you with regard to paraphrasing, editing, proofreading, and translation, uh, looking for journals, reviewing journals etc uh, so this is just uh, for the chat gpt tool and for how you can write a literature review super fast in 2023 using uh, the most uh, recent uh, ai tools i can share with you some templates like conceptual framework and theoretical framework like this template uh, so that you can use it in your literature review or this model that has like different tables which you can just use in your literature review in case you are uh, writing a literature review that is really advanced for PhD, master, etc. So this is in brief how we can go about writing a literature review in the shortest time possible with the greatest uh, accuracy. I will just keep the links below to each website and if you have questions or uh, you want to ask me, you can just ask me via one of my social media platforms. Tell another tutorial. See you soon and bye for now.